It has been floating in the minds of everyone for decades over nothing. Yet my own people are against my boring government because of my handling of Kamas terrorism in my own beloved man, Made Nation. Could you kindly disseminate further propaganda so I may influence the public's voting system in such a way that you are known to Americans as the last president to have ever lived? Benjamin, I have protected you many times against the crusaders of your worst enemies. Don't tell me you've kept missiles to watch fireworks to get people's attention. I focused on making both Israel and that P-word country stronger when I was president. I need to protect my traditional image and keep my useless scalps from getting ruined. I can't even say that name. By the way, how do you think that deal will change the votes? It's more straightforward than usual. Now that you've eaten so many carrots that your lips is orangey and have kissed my butt several times, it's time to listen carefully to my conditions so you can stay financially secure. Also, better managed from a psychological standpoint. I see what you're doing. The same old tricks of fooling this group by turning the tables around to guess what will happen is still used. When it comes to human rights, you and I are very different. You had to solve your own problems by figuring out where you were supposed to go to stay away from the fighting. Also, U.S. senators, including myself, thought you put an end to the rise of Hamas terrorists, mostly because of how badly your country treats its own people. The predicament I find myself in is just incomprehensible. The terrorists from Hamas are destroying my credibility as a hero for protecting my country. Those outside of Israel, my fabricated nation, are, without a doubt, taking a lot of criticism. People still can't seem to comprehend the simple falsehoods that come out of my butthole, and I don't know why. I have to eat it when it becomes brown. Nothing to grab onto when it's clean. Benjamin, what you say about Hamas doesn't worry me. Now it's up to the people of the U.S. to pick between Kamala Harris or me. The woman who looks like a mix of Indian and fairy is about to win. Your plan to destroy Hamas is being watched by people all over the world, which worries me more than your so-called fake country, Israel. Things look a lot better for your country now than they did before October 7th. Do you really think my nation is less important than your life as a presidential candidate, Trump? Remember that you are an employee of mine at all times? Whenever Obama was communicating with the states, he paid attention to every pretext I concocted. Your embassy was relocated to Jerusalem upon your ascension to the presidency. I threatened assassinations on Joe Biden while he was fighting to keep capitalism strong. About reasons mostly related to prepositions, I really doubt that Kamala Harris would go to such lengths to increase my excitement about surpassing Hamas. If, if you say that my life is more important than anything else, that's how I live. Benjamin, you don't get to tell me what to do to feed your desire for Zionism with hate and fear. Also, when I became president of the United States, I wanted your country to have good relationships with Arabs so that the P word would no longer be oppressed. This has been going on for decades, but it seems like it's been ages. That being said, Benjamin, you said I'm not Obama, Harris, or even Biden. I felt so lucky to be on your side and listen to your silly reasons about Hamas or Kamas. Heck, you should learn how to speak English properly before I get an infection in my rectum from listening to you talk about Hamas all the time. The victims of this conflict, I suppose I slipped my tongue, Mr. Benjamin, all I can see now is you and your bad rule. I did tell you once to give them what they wanted, the P-word. They probably wanted more from the world to help them with their money, friends, families, and most of all, recognition. I think Israel is more accepted than those people who use the P-word. Look closely at what is going on in Hamas-controlled areas. Those people are not even a part of your war games, Benjamin. I want to really understand more. You are under no obligation to comprehend my reasons for starting this conflict. Additionally, my regime is no longer an issue as long as I continue to expose myself to this pointless society that enjoys laughing at my shackles while doing nothing to end the conflict. It was Hamas, not I, who initiated the conflict. Further, I put my faith in you, Trump. As a child, you nursed me. What I really wanted was more from you, and I know that seems unusual coming from me. I worshipped you on Shabbat Ni when you lost to Joe Biden. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I find myself completely captivated by your vivid imagination. You are truly remarkable, absolutely wild. Blaming Hamas likely points to Joe Biden's mismanagement in the Middle East. Benjamin, had I remained president for over four years, I would have ensured that Hamas did not attack your nation. However, you chose to hold Hamas accountable rather than Joe Biden, didn't you? Trump, absolutely. I am not interested in investigating your outrageous plan to intensify the situation. Here we are the true Jews. It is us who are using the Talmud to rationalize the slaughter. We smack aliens with severe warnings to be quiet until they shut up completely if they question us about our tactics, no matter where they are in the world. So I suppose there's plenty of time to. That's great that you brought up Talmud, Benjamin. I'm really interested in whether you really follow the Torah to fully understand what God says. Why don't you listen to God's words when you act like you know everything about Judaism? That being said, you still attack Lebanon because of Hamas, right? 
You're crazy, and you know that no one can stop you from killing everyone there. Also, are you really Jewish? I didn't think that praise would come from you, Benjamin. That's a pretty big claim you just Take made. Take note of what you hear and see. The longer we drag out this pointless debate by bringing up irrelevant topics, the less progress we will make. Let's all agree that Hamas is to blame for this disarray. To find a solution to this chaos, I've been working really hard. Of course, that's up to you. As if Hamas had never existed, you are now fighting Lebanon. They're probably only gone dead for now, but who knows what will happen to your country and to us all in general when they come back to life. Also, why are you attacking Lebanon if Hamas only stays in P-word There's a lot of backstories behind it that you don't get. Despite my best efforts, you will remain bewildered by the details of their summons past. We Jews were immediately expelled from Europe due to our history of being subjected to Nazi experimentation. They used derogatory terms like rats to describe us. Remembering this horrible name makes us projected onto the Hamas and their people, preventing us from seeing them for who they really are human beings. We loathe humans so much that we despise them even more. As an ally, you're as good as a dog in my book. When you're on the other side, you're just another sentient being. As a respectful gesture toward eradication, we slaughter the Hamas people. In Israel, we can wipe off those worthless Christians, Muslims, Orthodox Jews, and others. Nobody is stopping us. Good one. During my presidency, I gave you my power, my money, my name, my pictures, and everything else I like on your thrones. It's like we were brothers, Benjamin, only once. Just once. Indeed, MMM, forget about anything we've spoken about thus far. I will give you the presidency if you are willing to follow my orders. If you turn down my offer, Kamala Harris will become the year's most wanted woman. Is my offer acceptable to you? I'm sick and tired of your lies. Could you please be quiet and leave me alone? It's my life. I'm free to do anything I want. Because of your shameful rule, I lost a lot of manly patience and had to act like a girl in front of Americans and people from other countries. Both all the countries, both he's both online and off. So no, so no. I'll turn down your offer and it's funny how much time we've spent just calling each other names and insulting ourselves. I'm leaving you stupid jerk. You're utterly mistaken, Trump. Your resistance to my beautiful rampage astounds me. I never expected you, a little feeble orange man, to be so strong. Thus, I am anticipating the arrival of Kamala. Goodbye, weekend. Jerk, I hope you go to hell.